morning guys today or this week i'm on gyne instead of l d which means that it's like a bunch of surgeries that are already scheduled yesterday i saw zero patients and it's a little nerve-wracking just because i have to meet a minimum quota of how many patients i see every week so i have to either pick it up or figure out how to see some patients i will say for ob's hours i'm extremely tired i never felt like this when i was in emergency but that could also just be because i woke up later and stayed up later so you know it it evens out today i got to scrub in again but i didn't really do much except like hold the uterus up with this instrument i don't really know what it's called but um this patient had a dermoid tumor which number one it did have hair and number two it did have teeth which was insane but it was a real cool experience good morning guys um, i'm walking to the hospital right now today i was told that it's going to be a super busy day they scheduled at least five procedures today which means that the students are going to have to go into two at least so preparing my knees for this super long day hey guys so i just got home um i sh i didn't shower yet i ate dinner and now i'm just in my room today was such a long day the surgery that i was scheduled to go into was supposed to be at 10 but the team that was going into the first surgery was started at 7 30 they had some issues so they had to run longer um and i think they finished around like 1 30 which was crazy because then that that surgery went from 7 30 to 1 30 which is i think five hours that's six hours so they were in there for quite a while and then i i think we went into the second surgery um around like three o'clock and then that surgery was a little bit over two hours so by the time we got out it was time for me to go home but the case that i got to see today was a laparoscopic total hysterectomy with bilateral salpingectomies which i think is it was really cool to see something more than just a salpingectomy because prior to this i've seen a lot of those laparoscopically where they just use the um, ligature to basically like singe the tubes the difference with a total hysterectomy is they did that but then also they had to remove the uterus so they had it they like pulled it from the vaginal canal which i think was very cool like i've never seen anything like that and the fact that they didn't have to make a huge incision in her abdomen to remove the uterus i think just shows how far medicine has come and how um technology has really just accelerated and helped medicine next week i'm starting clinic so this is where i'm just seeing patients and for checkups or um like their routine things like pap smears stuff like that so i'm a little more excited for clinic because i've heard from other students that you get to do a little more so i really want to brush up on my cervical screening um things and also like breast exam stuff like that um just because most of this i feel like is gonna be what i'm going to be focusing on in the clinic so that hi everyone i don't know if you know who doobie is on um youtube but doobie doobop she has a cooking kind of channel she does videos on food and whatnot i think last week she made a recipe it's a cookie recipe and it looked very interesting to me so i'm going to attempt to make it today some of the ingredients that are needed butter tahini which i had to go out of my way and find this because i had no idea what this was but it's essentially a sesame paste salt i guess this is like coarse sea salt i don't really know what you would call this some regular granulated salt you need cocoa powder some baking soda sugar and then you guys are leaning against the all-purpose flour I 
made the doughs. Um, we have two here. So we have the tahini paste one and then we have a second one, which is the dark chocolate one. So there's a specific way that Doobie explains it. Well, her name is, her real name is Tina, but she basically says to alternate between the two doughs. So you scoop a little into the cookie scooper, in this case, ice cream scooper. So I put the chocolate and then a little bit of the tahini one. And then I'll take a little bit of the tahini one and put that in as well. And you kind of alternate between the two until the entire scoop is full. Doing so, you get this marble effect on your cookie afterwards um, and then she recommends just using like a flat edge to scrape the excess cookie dough and then I already put one on the cookie tray right here but I'm going to try to show you the second one it would look like this so you see how there's like two different colors when that flattens out it's going to look really nice this is the second batch of cookies that I made. Um, as you can see, they have the marbling effect, which I think looks really, really cool. But these are the ones that I've taken out already, and I've sprinkled a little bit of coarse sea salt on top. So as you can see, they all have the marbling effect. So I finished baking. I have my last batch in the oven right now, but I kind of wanted to have a taste test on camera because I've never made cookies so perfect before so if you struggle to make perfect cookies definitely try out doobie's recipe i think she made a foolproof recipe just from the smell of it it smells really good as well so i believe this is a chocolate white sesame cookie it's really good it tastes like your typical cookie but at the end there's like a aftertaste or a hint of nuttiness and i'm assuming it's from the tahini so if you if you try this recipe i'm pretty sure you'll like it definitely let me know what you think and i'll link doobie's video down below good morning guys today is actually halloween um but i don't really celebrate halloween anymore and i haven't since i was probably in i want to say freshman year of high school Today, I'm wearing business casual because I'm going to the clinic within the hospital. The clinic starts later than the other areas of this rotation, so it's 8.30 right now. I got here a little bit early, hoping that I'd be able to find a parking spot where I usually park, but um, there's just a lot of people here, so I had to park at a different spot, and I don't know if I can park here, which is why I'm a little suspicious because I don't want my car to be towed. Later today, I'm going to be meeting Tiffany and Winston for dinner because I haven't seen Winston in, I want to say, a year or so. There's a lot of catch up with him about, so I will try my best to film when I'm with them but no promises um tiffany i see like every other week so you guys i know you guys miss her as well because she doesn't really make videos anymore but i will see you guys later hi i honestly love the clinic i think my calling is for outpatient i just like don't know if inpatient is for me but today i did a lot of triaging so like seeing why patients first coming in but then also i did two vaccinations for some patients who needed their hpvs and we did a couple of colposcopies i got to look like through the mice microscope to see the transition zone for the cervix and things like that and i think my personality fits outpatient better which is also why i was still considering emergency med because that is outpatient and i'm meeting winston and tiffany at six but i got four today so i'm gonna go to a cafe and just log my patients read up a little bit about pap 
pap screening and cervical cancer and all of those things. Hello? Hi. Hello? <laughs> Why are you so <laughs> awkward, Winston? <laughs> um, yeah, did ya? Okay, did so ya? here we have gifts um, that Winston has not gotten since, since I don't even know, year, like, like so long. We haven't been able to see him since like last year. Since like late last year, and then when we did it, I saw y'all like a few months ago. What? When you were learning how to drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But that was a short time that I did not remember to bring this out for. <laughs> anyway, so these are like his birthday and Christmas gift. Vincent, you can open. Oh, sure. Starting with which one? Um, Let's do the birthday one first. But obviously, you know what it is, partially. Do I? Do I? <laughs> Do I know what's in it? I can't tell. Not that. She just reused the box. <laughs> what? A big version? Yeah, it's a full box. What does it smell like? I want to smell it. <sighs> Is this one of the scents that you Whoa, like? this yeah. smells so good. What yeah. the heck? That smells really good. The other one you use is the sea salt. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. What is sea salt? Wood sage. Wood sage. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I like both. I'm gonna like, get one for myself. Okay, so I wrapped it really terribly. This is the last minute. I'm so sorry for it. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Birthday. What is that? This is the Christmas uh, gift. Mm. You can just rip it. How is it? She just reused the box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Is it a wallet? Is it underwear? It's underwear. <laughs> Guys, it's underwear. Guys, it's underwear. Or belt? Like, not me just like guessing not everything. Guessing. <laughs> like, I was like, girl. Oh, it's a wallet. Oh, it is a wallet. I was right. Okay. And it's a trifold one. You know what? I'm having a trifold for my favorite. Okay, good. It's the one that protects like your IDs. Wow. Where? Like the RFID stuff. So there's like a certain card. I think it's this card or something like that. Okay, Winston, what do you say? Hey. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Hi, guys. I got let out early today for my shift. I was supposed to be here until four, but we saw all of our patients in clinic. So the doctor I was with, she told me to go home and it's three o'clock right now so i'm trying to get home before all the traffic starts so i saw a good amount of patients got to triage a lot of them and today was the first pregnant lady that i saw that was having twins so i was having a little bit of trouble finding the fetal heart rate with the doppler i found one and then i couldn't really find the other one but then i had the doctor help me we eventually found both but yeah, I'm seeing new things every day and I think I really just, I like L&D and OB a lot more than Gyne. Um, Gyne in clinic is mostly like pathology, a lot of pap smears, um, colposcopies and biopsies and things like that, which it's not, it's not to say that I don't like those things, but I just find obstetrics more interesting. So I'm going to go home um, and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning guys. Today is the last day of clinic. Um, it is super foggy as I'm walking outside. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can like barely see anything. Um, I'm a little tired today and there was a lot of traffic getting here. So I'm just hoping this day goes by really fast. Hi everyone, so I'm trying this new thing where I'm drinking lemon water every day. I noticed that when I'm on rotations, I'm just one drinking water less and um, because I'm wearing my mask all day, like I start getting all these breakouts. So I have been starting to drink lemon water every day and I feel like it's been helping. I'm about to log my patients right now. Today I only saw I think three patients. One, two, three. Yeah, so I only saw three patients today, but that was because clinic only ran from nine to 12-ish, and then we got sent home. 
So I tried to stay a little bit at the end, hoping that I'd be able to get a pelvic exam in or maybe a pap smear on my own. I helped with the pap smear today, but um, pelvic exam, I'm still trying to work on getting that procedure done. So next week when I go in, I'm going to see if I can ask um, an intern to help me get one of those. An overview of clinic, I initially really liked it in the beginning because I felt like I was seeing new things, I was getting to triage patients more, and I was able to go through all of their past medical history for gyne or OB, meaning like I would be able to ask like, do you have history of STDs and stuff like that? Like, yes, in um, L&D, I was able to do that, but more so, it was more so tailored to um, obstetrics. So you want to ask all their G's and P's, um, how was the last pregnancy, how they delivered for their last pregnancies, things like that. So it's a little bit different because now Gyn is focusing more on sexual health and just like menstrual cycle, things like that, and not focusing on obstetrics obviously so it's a little different um of course you also see obstetric patients in clinic but it's just their routine checkups so if they're coming in like prior to 28 weeks you want to ask them about all of the genetic screening and testings and things like that as well as the um, glucose challenge and glucose tolerance test so all of those plus vaccinations. I did get to do a lot of vaccinations in clinic, which I found really fun. I don't know why, but I love giving vaccinations for some reason. Um, and I think that's why, to me, I really thought that I liked outpatient because I got to see the patients and then they would go home. And like, although I'm not taking care of them on the floor i know that their maintenance care is up to date and that's what i really liked however towards the end of the week i started to feel like clinic was getting very redundant that most of the patients were coming for the same things and i don't know i just it started to get a little boring for me, which is why I say that I liked clinic in the beginning because that was like a different atmosphere for me. But now this kind of worries me a little because I think that like all of the specialties in some shape or form become redundant. So that just makes me worry about how I will decide like where i want to go and i guess the good thing is as a pa you can switch specialties and like a lot of per like doctors who do residency and something like it's very hard for them to switch over unless they redo a whole residency so i think me choosing pa was definitely the right choice for me but now i'm trying to narrow down exactly like which field or specialty I want to go into and i'm still a little bit of like a big question mark on that hi guys i'm currently editing the vlog i don't even know what this is this is from so long ago over a month ago these clips so it's kind of funny that i'm editing it now because i don't even remember like what i was filming i can't tell if you guys like it when the videos are longer or shorter let me know below what length you guys prefer and then i'll try to cater to that because obviously i want you guys to watch the vlogs i think that's going to be the end of this video though um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see next and i will see you in the next video bye